Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay, and today I want to talk to you guys about decentralized finance, decentralized exchanges, and Web3 and how to use it. So, if you never used MetaMask or Trust Wallet, or if you never used a decentralized exchange, if you always used centralized exchanges and you don't even know what I'm talking about, then I'm going to explain all of that for you in this video and this is one of the ways that we can take advantage of some of the things that is going on in crypto in a major way such as extreme yields on putting coins up for grabs liquidity farming and things like that so if you're excited about that like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i hope this can help some people out so first and foremost you're probably saying hey what is web3 in the first place so right here web3 is the next generation of the internet okay what is a web3 site that's more importantly it says web3 site generally refers to the next generation of the world wide web it has been adopted by the ethereum ecosystem and blah 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 for decentralized web and decentralized finance so first thing you need to do in order to participate in web3 is have a web3 wallet now let me show you why now some web3 sites include things like games if you want to use if you want to play a web3 game on the internet or a blockchain game um th other things like decentralized exchanges um there's other things like um, NFT platforms. So if you want to buy some NFTs, a lot of you have to use Web3 and you don't really know how to do that. So let me show you more about that. So the first thing you need is a Web3 wallet. Okay, what is a Web3 wallet? It is a wallet that allows you to connect to a Web3 site. Now let me show you an example of a Web3 site and what that looks like. Okay, so here's one example of a Web3 a web3 website now what we have here is a decentralized exchange now what this allows you to do is to swap tokens without having to sign up for something like Binance now Binance is a traditional exchange they call them centralized exchanges or sexes and you know if you're in the US you can't really use Binance because they don't allow you as people to use Binance so also you have to send your tokens to the Binance exchange in order to trade on the exchange now with Kyber swap your tokens always stay in your wallet and what you'll do here is connect your wallet to the web3 website so the first thing you will need is a web3 wallet now there's a couple different kinds if you click right here on kyber and you hit connect you can see that it gives you many different options metamask tracer uh different ones blah 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 so i'm going to use metamask so the first thing you need to do is download the extension for the metamask web3 wallet make sure you get it from metamask.io and not metamask.com or any other like fake site just make sure it's metamask.io and when you install it it's going to tell you to create a wallet you're going to have to name that wallet and you can send ethereum to that wallet by clicking here now when you open that wallet up the only asset that's going to show up in that wallet is ethereum and you can use ethereum on you know on the web3 website so going back to kyber network when you hit metamask it's going to ask you to connect you're going to pick which wallet you want to connect to i'm going to pick the teacher wallet i'm going to hit next i'm going to go to connect and now you can see that my wallet balance that's up here in my wallet shows up on the web3 website so that's what's cool about it is now i'm connected to this protocol and this website and i can use it without ever having to sign up and give my information out to any third party where they can then sell my address and do all this weird stuff that people do with their information and that's why web3 is such a big thing and that's why it's so important for decentralized finance um, another example would be Uniswap, which is probably the most popular decentralized exchange. It looks very similar to KyberSwap. You'll connect your wallet up here and you can go ETH. And when you select a token, say you want to buy some 
Kex or Balancer or Ave, you can click the token there, select how much ETH you want to pay for it, and then it'll show you, hey, you're going to get this much Ave. This is the price that you're paying for. This is the impact that you're having on the price. This is the fee that you're paying and all that good stuff. Another example would be Ave Gache. Now, this is a NFT game that is available is a web3 website here so you'll go to connect your wallet and you can connect metamask wallet connect portis or arcane wallet wallet connect is very easy you just click on it and you scan the ur code with your wallet connect and you can connect to whatever wallet you use so i'll click here i'll go to connect wallet oh what's happening let me refresh it click here connect metamask hit next connect and there we go you can see i'm now here and i can stake some ghost tokens and you know play this game right here um you know play the avagacha game and you know all that good stuff So that is how Web3 platforms work. And why that is very important is because you can use that now to participate in decentralized finance. So let me give you an example of what that looks like. So when you come to CoinGecko, you see all the coins that are on the list. If you click up here on DeFi, it's going to bring you right here to all the DeFi protocols. So say you click on Aave. You're like, hmm, what is this? You go to the app. And you can see, look, on this app, if I deposit these coins through my MetaMask app, I can get this percentage back. So if I deposit DAI, I can get 10% back, which is a stable coin. So the price stays at a dollar and I get 10% back. If I deposit Ethereum, I get 0.21% back. If I deposit BUSD, I get 16% back. So this is a way for you to use decentralized finance. You just connect your wallet here go to browser wallet now Ave allows you to choose from many different wallets which is cool so right now I'm connected to this website and if I wanted to participate in any of this stuff it is very very simple all I have to do say I want to deposit some ethereum so I can make you know a little percentage back on my money I can click here I can click you know deposits withdrawals it's already connected to how much ethereum that i have in my wallet it's non-custodial so the coins stay in my wallet they're just locked in the contract i can unlock them whenever i want to i can go here choose the max that i want to deposit continue so using the web3 platforms are cool and it's pretty simple pretty simple for sure um yeah, what else more can I tell you about the Web3 platforms? There's so many different things you can do with these platforms. And in the future, it's just going to get even more crazy. For example, a lot of people like NFTs. And if you go to Rari.com, it's going to ask you to connect a wallet in order to start um, creating things and creating NFT art. So if you're an artist or something like that and you want to create crypto art, this is how you would do it. You have to install a Web3 wallet and you'll click here. It's gonna ask you which Web3 wallet do you wanna to connect to? We used MetaMask and you can see now I can buy NFTs. I'm inside the website. I can create NFTs. I can create single multiple NFTs. I can click here. I can place a bid. If I want to, I can buy this um, nice creative piece of artwork there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to give people a little bit more of a beginner's rundown on the Web3 platforms and how to use them. Now, I hope this helps some people out. I know a couple of my friends have been wanting to know how I do some of this stuff. And this is how it goes, y'all. We um, connect to MetaMask send some ethereum to metamask and then we come and we play with all these web3 platforms that we can find on coin gecko not all of them are web3 platforms so you know you do your research and you figure out which ones you want to mess around with but you know i told you about abogache because i wanted to show you a game i told you about um balancer 
I wanted to show or kyber swap I wanted to show you how to swap different tokens that you couldn't normally find or if you didn't want to sign up for some Chinese exchange and give them all your ID and your address and all that stuff you can come here on kyber swap or balancer does the same thing or uniswap or if you want to create nfts you can do it right here on rari so like and subscribe turn on post notifications hope this helps some people out till next time peace